my life hasn't always been so tranquil, but I've always had a passion for my art. I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, abandoned at birth, kidnapped at 12, forced into an arranged marriage at 16, and then shipped off to Germany. I discovered the Heidelberg Museum where I studied Renaissance techniques and restoration. That opened the world of art to me. I returned from Germany to Miami when I was 18 and found myself homeless. In Coconut Grove, I became involved with the creative people who changed the course of American culture of the 60s. People like Tennessee Williams, Timothy Leary, Simon and Garfunkel. I went to live in the jungles of Central America where I lived in a hut among the Indians. I returned to the grove from the jungle and took with me those vivid colors, the tranquility that inspired me when I first started painting at the age of 29. I had my first solo exhibit at the Virginia Miller Gallery in Miami. I saw A. Rawlings' art in the early 70s and I was amazed at the large scale paintings of female nudes that were there on the wall. No other artist was painting female nudes of that scale. When I saw that body of work, she deserved a show and um, it was sold out. <laughs> it was a very successful show. This exhibit led to my recognition as an established artist at home and abroad. Since I've been at the Cultural Council, it's been a privilege and an honor to showcase over 650 unique artists. And that just was one of those stars that shines through. A lot of people come and are very interested in her work, especially the color, the style, and the accessibility of it. It's not a super abstract piece that's too complicated, and people can respond to it a lot easier. For 30 years, I lived in a beautiful old house with my own art studio in Coconut Grove. I don't think I'll ever stop painting. It's my love and my life. Well, the secret to my success is uh, never to give up. I just have never given up.